My name is Box the Artist, and the medium that I worked in during my residency was acrylic painting. My name is Eric Salazar, and I am the clarinet guy. My name is Jeanette Pomeroy Parsi, and I worked in oil on canvas. Uh, my name is Jeff Davis, and I worked primarily as a woodworker. So, what attracted me to apply to the maker in residence at Ignite was that I had an artistic vision in mind but I did not have the infrastructure to execute it. So I had an idea to do a community album that tells a collective story. So I was excited to apply for the Maker in Residence uh, because I felt that since Ignite had a recording studio here, as well as patrons that come to the library, I could execute this artistic vision to make an album. Well, one main thing exactly was the pillar of um, interacting with the community. And that was really attractive to me because that is the basics of my practice as well as painting, but really connecting with the community, connecting with people to not only practice, but to also inspire other people to really come, go down that route as well and, and explore their creativity. I, one of the goals of my studio is to build community. And this is just an open door and a, and a giant hook to be able to build community within my studio. The biggest benefit for me to participate in this program was the outreach to the community and getting to know the community. It also is a fabulous place to set up your studio for three months and create. The space is amazing. Um, just to have access to something like this where you're provided just a space that you can come and practice in, a space that's essentially yours and that you have autonomy over. All of the access to everything else in the Ignite Studio is pretty awesome from 3D printing to <laughs> literally everything that you can think of. The staff is fantastic. Um, you, you're, this, you're supported 100%. And, um, that you are encouraged to come up with big, giant ideas and people will help you flesh those out. And I, to me, that's really important. The staff here is amazing, very helpful. Uh, many times where they had to jump in and help me because it was very active in the space. The, the reason I would recommend it is if you are looking to get more established or more connected in this area, there will be tangible results by doing that. And if you're someone who's energized and engaged uh, by people, sharing your art with people and have, allowing their feedback to influence your work, this is a really great way to experiment in a safe space for that. When you work with people from so many different backgrounds and so many different experience uh, levels, it really puts you in a position to be able to really understand if you have the capacity to be able to communicate this to someone else so that they can understand it. When you have people walking in the door and watching and what you're doing, you have an audience and, and audience is um, a lot to an artist or a musician that you know who you're working for and who you're playing for. And I knew those people would come back to see my work in progress as it, as it progressed. And uh, that, that's important to me too. I would recommend this program to other artists, uh, specifically artists who are energized by people and community. Yeah, you just get to connect with so many different people. That was one of my key takeaways, is, is people that really become invested in your practice. And, you know, they, they follow you, they support you, and they want to learn from you. And that's a really rewarding, you know, just feeling to have. This is deep exposure, where people will come in and spend time with you and ask questions and really seek out um, to understand your work. Doing this residency has positioned me for future success. I would recommend this residency to other artists simply because it's a fabulous space. It's a great way to reach the community. It's an opportunity to create and to teach. I enjoyed my time here, even missed it when I stepped back inside. <laughs>